1913, there was a Negro pugilist, his name was Jack Johnson. Now old Jack Johnson, he was the toughest man in the whole wide world. He used to walk around whopping people upside the head, making all sorts of money. Like I say, old Jack Johnson, he was a pugilist. He was a pugilist by preference and by profession. And one day old Jack came walking on down by the pier side. He's just walking on down. His manager come walking on down by the pier side. He says, uh, hi, Jack. He says, hi, manager. This is what you're doing. He says, I'm just walking on down by the pier side. He says, what's up? He says, I got a gig for you. He says, got a gig for me. He says, that's right. He says, where about? He says, over in England. He says, hmm, what am I going to do over there? He says, well, you're going to open whop this guy upside the head and make all sorts of money. Old Jack says, that's groovy, baby. That's really groovy. You give me a ticket on the next flight out. He said, ticket on the next flight out. This is 1914. Why, the Wright brothers haven't even started fooling around with Kitty Hawk yet. He said, uh, who's she? Midnight on the sea, the band was playing in my god Fed a well, Titanic, fed a well Old Jack says, well, how am I going to get there, baby? He says, oh, I'm going to show you And he whips open the newspaper And shows him a picture of the USS Titanic, folks She's the world's biggest ship She's made out of good wood and good iron They said she'd never get down he says, you mean I'm going over on the boat? And he says, that's right, baby, you're going on the boat. He said, well, let's get, get some tickets. He said, all right, so I head on down to the ticket taker's place. He walks on up to the ticket taker. He walks on in. He says, hey, man, I want to buy me some tickets. He said, got red ticket, green ticket, yellow ticket, blue ticket, what kind of ticket you want? He said, I want a red one. He gave him some loot and he laid it on him. He's got his ticket now, he takes everything he owns, he wraps it on up in a diaper and he hangs it on a stick over his back and goes heading on down by the pier side. He getting on down by the pier side and his manager's down there by the pier side and there she is, folks. The USS Titanic, she's lined up beside 250 parking meters. The captain's getting done ready to split because he run out of time. Italian senator in the state house and all Italian senators them got brothers own construction companies and this one had a brother he owned a construction company and the Titanic she was made out of good Italian with good Italian and they said she'd never get down so there's old Jack standing on the bottom got everything he owns wrapped on up in that diaper hanging on a stick over his back he shakes hands with his manager goes walking on up the gangplank the captain's standing on the top he get up onto the top and the captain look at the ticket he look at the ticket he look at Jack he look at the ticket, he look at Jack, he look at the ticket, he look at Jack, he look at the ticket, he look at Jack, he look at it. He says, sorry, baby, wrong color. He says, me or the ticket? This is you. Now, he wouldn't let Jack Johnson on board. He said, this ship don't haul no coal, we'll fade away, Titanic, fade away. He was midnight on the sea, the band was playing near my God, he fade away, Titanic, fade away, yeah. So Jack says, it's all right, baby, it's all right, I'm going to sit right here in the pit and watch you go right on down. So the Titanic, she sails on out into the North Sea. She's out there floating around in and out between the icebergs and old Jack standing on the pier. I gotta tell you about the people on the Titanic now. First of all, there's a whole bunch of Jewish people from Miami. They're jumping up and down. They're laughing. They're drinking booze. They're trading wives and Cadillacs and diamonds. They're having all sorts of good clean party fun. Then the walls, the people who run the boat. Now the people who run a boat, they know all about running boats. They know all about hoisting up land lovers and battening down hatches and doing all sorts of other good things like all good sailors do in their far away sea. The captain, not a captain, he know how to walk like a captain, write like captain, walk like captain, talk like captain, smell like captain, eat like captain, do all sorts of captain things. Then there was the first mate, now I gotta tell you about the first mate, not a first mate, he don't know nothing about Jewish parties, he don't know nothing about hoisting up land lovers, he don't know nothing about captains, he, uh, he wants to want to go over to England, he want to play his guitar, he want to run around, chase women, have all sorts of good times. 
anyways, this fella, his sideburns, it's been just a little too long, he give away, see? He been down in Mexico, he been down in Mexico, he been working in this rope factory down in Mexico now. Down in Mexico, they make rope out of this funny little hemp plant that grows wild in the ground. Some of you people grow it in flower pots under your bed. He, anyways, down there, and he's, he's waking rope out of this funny marijuana plant. And one day, the rope factory, she catch fire, and he run back on in to save his lunch. He's got two sardine sandwiches. Running back on in to save his lunch, he gets inside, and there's all this funny smoke floating around up inside. And he gets some of this funny smoke up inside his head, and he sit down in the middle of the fire, and he say... Baby, I ain't gonna make rope no more. See, so take everything he own, he wrap it up on up in a diaper and a knapsack too. And he, he hanging on down to the Titanic. He get to the Titanic, he standing on the bottom, walking on up the gangplank. The captain standing on the top. The captain says, what you got, boy? He says, I'm coming on. This is what you got. And this is where I got me two changes of BVDs. I got me my guitar, I got me my address book, a pair of socks, four mass marble comic books, a tennis racket, and 497 and a half feet of rope. He says, 497 and a half feet of rope, what do you got that for? He says, oh, I just carry it. <laughs> so he says, all right, go on board, go on board. And he did. It was midnight on the sea, the band was playing near my God. Better well, Titanic, better well. God, he wouldn't let Jack Johnson on board. They said, this ship don't haul no coal. Better well, Titanic, better well. Brings us up to what's happening now. The Titanic, she's floating around, in and out between the icebergs. The Jewish people are partying. They're trading wives and Cadillacs and diamonds. They're drinking booze and having all sorts of party fun. Everybody else is hoisting up land lovers and battening down hatches. The first mate, he's hanging over the rail. He's having himself a little smoke. He's digging the iceberg. Having himself a little smoke, and it's the captain's time to do his thing. The captain comes on out. Remember I told you about the captain? He knows how to walk like Captain Riley, like Captain Douglas, all sorts of Captain. He comes on out, and he's standing out. His thing right now is that He's got to go out and test the wind, so he casts his nose up into the north wind, and he goes... Mate, he says, hey, first mate, what's that you smoking? He says, that ain't nothing but a little old cigarette, Captain. He says, I don't believe it. Give me a puff. He says, all right. <laughs> so the captain take himself a little puff. Nothing happened right away. He says, it's all right. It's all right. It's just a cigarette. I'm going for a walk. And that's what it did, folks. He went for a walk. He went, he went out walking around the boat. He went walking toward the wheelhouse. He, he walked around. He walked around the wheelhouse once. He look on over at the captain and he say You want to know the tall captain? And the captain, he say, Right! So this time he's gonna tell the captain a little bit about the smoke that he's smoking. He says, now, the idea, captain, the idea is to get the smoke way down deep inside your tummy and hold it there just as long as you can. It'll make your fed feel good all inside. So the captain says, all right, he take himself three big tokes off that fun little brown weed. He says, I'm commencing to hold it in. He 
walked around a wheel house. He went downstairs, he laid down, he got up, he ran in the other room, he sent a radiogram. He came home back in, he took a shower, he come out, he shaved. He laid down, he got up again, he turned on the television, he turned off the radio, he played a game of cribbage, he read a smash Marvel comic book. He walked in the kitchen, made a cup of tea, made a cup of coffee, sat down, ate a piece of pie, went upstairs, played another game of cribbage, went back in, finished his other mass Marvel comic book, laid down, he had the television, the radio, the egg beater, the air conditioner, everything's all going at once. He walks up on deck and this is 52 minutes later and this cat he breathed yet. So the first mate see him standing up there on the rail. He's all puffed up like a balloon. He says, you gotta let it out, Captain. So the captain, he let it all out at once. Falling right down on the wheelhouse floor, he's out cold. Oh, this is brings us up to what's happening again, folks. The Titanic, she's sailing around in between the icebergs. Everybody else is having parties. The Jewish people, they're jumping up and down. They're trading wives and Cadillacs and diamonds and drinking booze. Everybody else is hoisting up land lovers, battening down hatches and doing sail things. The first mate's hanging over there, rail. He's having himself a little smoke and digging the icebergs. And the captain's out cold on the wheelhouse floor. Midnight on the sea, the band was playing near my god see Better well, Titanic, better well. Daddy wouldn't let Jack Johnson on board. They said the ship don't haul no coal. Better well, Titanic, better well. Yeah. All of a sudden, the captain's eyes popped wide open and stood right up straight. Grabs a hold of the wheel. Looks on out at the bow of that boat and he say, I'm gonna move you, baby! And it did right on into an iceberg and she went right on down. It rolled me not on the sea, the band was playing in my god feet. Better well, Titanic, better well. God, he wouldn't let Jack Johnson on board. He said, the ship don't haul no coal. Better well, Titanic, better well. That's the true star of the Titanic, folks. She went right to the bottom. She took with her all the Jewish people, all the first mates. She took with him the captain. She took with him the land lovers. She took with him the mass Marvel comic books, the tennis racket, and 497 and a half feet of rope. Meanwhile, back on the stateside, old Jack Johnson, why, he's standing up on the pier, he's fishing away, he's got himself a little stick and a line, and he gets a tug, he pulls it on up, it's a big, wet, blue, soggy mess, and on the inside, on the line, and written in big gold letters, it says, USS Titanic, and stuck right above it was a wet road shack. That boy was so happy, he started doing the Eagle Rock up and down that pier like it's going out of style. He's he gonna do the Eagle Rock now, everybody in for the Eagle Rock. My God, better well, Titanic, better well. God, he wouldn't let Jack John from Bodie. He said, this shit's so hollow, better well, Titanic, better well. Better well, Titanic, going down.